So the last bit of challenge for you guys in this is kind of taking everything that you know about the areas and the symmetries and the different types of shapes like rectangles and circles and triangles and using all that together to come up with areas for composite shapes or shapes that are made up of more than one standard shape and trying to find out what the area would be. So one of the strategies for this is to actually look for shapes that you know like rectangles, squares, or circles, or triangles and find those individual areas and then add them together to figure out what the total area would be or in some cases subtract. So here I'm noticing there's lots of hashes so all those are the same length and it says 2 so all of these are going to be 2. Here I've got 3 and I don't have any more information. So first thing I'm curious about is a bit more like how long is that side or that side? So if I look at this knowing that these are right angle corners I have a distance of 3 then I go 2 more, that's my 2, and I know I go a height of 2 more after that, so 2 and 2. If I project that, or think about that on the other side, I've got a 2, a 2, and a 3. So 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 3 is 7, so that total length over here should be 7 meters. Looking at way, the way the other side of the shape balances out. And same thing across the bottom, I've got a 2, a 2 and a 2, so a distance of 6 meters using how these flat surfaces along the top of the shape add up. 2 plus 2 plus 2 gives me a width there of 6. So now I've got a little bit more information and can possibly look on how to solve things from there. What I like to do is look for shapes that I can solve for easily and I might think about breaking this one up into a square breaking that one up into a rectangle, and then one more rectangle here. So the area of the first one, A, that's going to be 2 by 2, or 2 times 2, because it's a square, all the sides on it are 2. Looking at the second one, B, well here I've got 2 and another length of 2 across the top, so a total of 4 across the top, and 2 on the side, so 4 times 2 gives me 8. And for C, in this case, I have 6 across the top or bottom and 3 across the side, so 6 times 3 gives me 18. Adding these guys up, 4 and 8 is 12, plus 18, I get 30 meters squared. So sometimes you have to apply a little bit of symmetry and piece together bits of information that are missing to find out how to put it together. And the important part there is recognizing smaller shapes that are easy to solve for and then adding them together to get your total area. The next shape over here is a combination of a triangle and a half circle. So what I might like to think about, in this case they're asking for the white area, that that's a whole triangle with half a circle chomped out of it, like a mouse took a big bite out of the cheese. So I want to find the white triangle, and if I imagine it being whole, it would be like this, 6 and 8. Remember my formula is going to be 1 half times base times height for the triangle. So the area of the triangle is going to be 1 half times 8 times 6. 8 times 6 is 48 times a half is going to get me to 24. And again, that's the whole triangle. And I need to subtract away the half circle. Because I don't want the whole triangle, I need to get rid of that part that's the half circle. So I might think about what's the area of my circle. Area of a circle is again pi r squared. And in this case, I have the distance all the way across the circle is 4, so this is my diameter. I need to know my radius, and that's going to be 2. So the radius, in this case, is half the diameter equal to 2. So pi times 2 squared, and that's going to be 
centimeters squared. So to find the area of the composite shape, or that white bit that's in the left over, they want us to find this part only, without the circle. The area of all this is going to be the area of the triangle minus the area of the circle, but it's only half a circle. So I have one more step that I need to do, find the area of the half circle. So I'm going to take this last number, 12.57, and divide it by 2 so that I get a half circle. Area for that is 6.28 centimeters squared, so that's my half circle. So the triangle minus the half circle, so that's going to be 24 minus 6.28, and that is going to be equal to 17.72 centimeters squared. So that's my area of that yellow part of the shape. And again, that's the area of the whole triangle, taking away the area of half of a circle. So finding the radius of the circle is 2, the area of the whole circle, if it was all there, would be 12.57, but I only want to take away a half circle, because it's only half the circle. So I divide that by 2. I'm left with 6.28 is the area of that blue bit there. So take the area of the whole triangle, minus off the blue bit, and you're left with 17.72. So again, with composite shapes, just look for little shapes that you do know. Keep in mind it sometimes could be tricky, like a half a circle or a quarter circle, and you have to divide it in two or divide it in four. And put it all together, and you'll be able to figure out what the area is.